Hi, this is Thomas Lennon. This is an At Midnight Masterclass, and I love wine. I'm a wine enthusiast. Uh, and today I'm going to show you just a little bit about uh, when you're tasting wine, so you can impress your friends at fancy restaurants. But also I thought it'd be fun, uh, since I'm already blindfolded, to show you how to escape uh, if your hands have been zip-tied. A lot of people smell corks when they take wine. People want to act like they're fancy. So they go like that, that is absolutely nothing. You're never gonna really learn much from smelling corks. The, what you wanna do with a cork is look at it because you wanna see if it's wet. If the cork is dry, the wine will be positively ruined. A lot of people in the world uh, are snobs about uh, screw top wines, but I'll tell you a thing about a screw top wine, you will never get a corked bottle of wine with a screw top. I swear to God, I really felt like there was a raccoon sneaking up on me. <laughs> as this was happening, but it was just a sound of the cork rolled off the table, right? Okay. Uh, so a lot of people look at wines through, uh, you can hold it up to the light, and you're looking at what's called the legs. That means just how much stays on the side of the glass when you hold it up. Uh, and it could, you know, indicate if there's like tannins in the wine, or if there's a lot of sugars, if it's kind of like a thick wine or not. It doesn't necessarily mean if it's good or bad, it just is what the legs look like. Uh, and then there's the nose, where you kind of smell the wine. I stick my nose way in it. <sighs> and I smell it really hard because I did a ton of cocaine in the 90s. So I don't have the most amazing sense of smell. Uh, a lot of people spin it around. The reason you're spinning it, one, it's fun to do if you've got attention deficit and it's uh, like a little fidget spinner. Two, it just is adding, you're getting more oxygen in the wine and the air is you know, opening it up and letting it breathe. So, and then the finish is what it tastes like on your tongue. So you kind of get air, what I always do, and it looks sort of tacky, but I, I literally just suck air over the wine on my tongue. But if you're in a really fancy restaurant, people will assume that you know what you're doing and they won't think it's gross. Again, I did a ton of cocaine in the 90s, so it's taking me a second. Oh, the other great thing about wine is it gets, as you get do this and you kind of can be a smarty pants with your friends, it also gets you fed up. There's a shit ton of rules about wine, guys, and I'm mostly a comedian. Um, anyway, that's everything I know about tasting wine. Uh, get fed up, guys. Then, get kidnapped, and when you get kidnapped, somebody might zip tie your hands together, and when you do, what you wanna do is, uh, from way up high, use uh, the force of your body. I'm gonna slam my hands down across my midsection, and uh, basically use my abdomen like a guillotine to, to split me out of these. And they can be as tight as they want, and they can be way bigger than this, too. And three, two, one. Oh! That's how to get out of zip ties. That's some of the stuff I know about wine. And this is an At Midnight Master Class. I feel like the At Midnight crew just found an old napkin that's tied around my face right now, which is hilarious, but I'm also a major germaphobe. So we'll see how that goes. But I do feel like this was just a napkin that somebody found, right?